Hi guys, no matter how drastic the changes were when the Nissan Patrol changed generations, it always had a trail of myths and legends behind it, and the manufacturer has had to try desperately to live up to some while desperately refuting others. Fortunately, Nissan Patrol Y62 has not lost its frame, but suspension became fully independent, though quite long stroke, the drive became automatic AWD or TOD, with the momentum transfer forward as wheels slip, or under the influence of other factors. The inline engines have gone into oblivion, along with crusty heads and burned blocks, V-twin engines, more and more eight cylinders took their place. The passenger cabin ceased to crush a tall driver with a ceiling, and even the Land Cruiser envied its volume, which never happened before. A big SUV of any class must necessarily have a V8 under the hood. The Americans have been teaching this to the planet for 300 years, and the planet realized it only recently. Without these 405 horsepower and 560 newton meters of torque, the Patrol Y62 would be like the old one, that is the car for those who are late to live, the 7-speed automatic is as good as it gets. The VK56 VD suffers from weak timing and fuel system problems, the pledge of its long life can be described with one phrase, good oil, good gasoline. The engine is equipped with the DIG direct fuel injection system, as well as a VVEL variable valve timing and lift system, which has not helped it much in terms of fuel consumption. I for example managed to maintain 17.6 liters per 100 kilometers. To interrupt the triumphal run can be a timing chain, or rather the whole mechanism, because you will have to change the whole, but the chain will be to blame, namely the drive of the camshaft of the right side. The problem occurs in a wide range of mileage from 50 to 150,000 kilometers and quite often, since the engine is equipped with common rail system, it has a high pressure fuel pump, southwest the fuel pump drive is connected to the timing chain, that goes to the right side of the cylinder block, and there are two chains in total. The pump is a loaded unit, and the right chain stretches faster, even faster than the manufacturer and the owner expects, having stretched it starts sawing itself, touching metal of the engine in the area of soothers, and exactly this sound is heard from under a cowl. After the 2014 restyling, the assembly was modernized, and it is no longer necessary to shell out huge sums for repairs, it would seem, live, and rejoice, but it became a shame to load the chain of fuel injection pump, and by a hundred thousand runs, or even by half of that time, it contributes to the chronicle of failures, I mean the infamous pump rod, for a long time there were debates about what causes the destruction of the rod, they found chips in it, traces of contact with the drive and even with the bottom of the well, but the important thing is that a new original fuel injection pump will cost at least a thousand dollars, a remanufactured one can cost three times less, but it has a warranty only from the seller, also, if you change it at official dealers, the preventive replacement of timing gear will follow, which will double the cost of repair, bringing it to the level of, what else would I buy patrol? The catalysts can be killed by a tank of low-quality gasoline, and that's even more plus to the current bill. If you're trying to save money and do nothing, you could get an overhaul of your engine because of the honeycomb breakdown, all sorts of little things like a cracked washer reservoir and a wedging fan clutch, you can forget about it. Vehicle shuttering at idle, and especially during smooth acceleration, informs the driver of problems in the torque converter. This is the main and almost the only problem with the Nissan Patrol Y62 7-speed transmission. The solution is not too expensive. The manufacturer, of course, learned about the problem and after restyling, it was solved by increasing the capacity of the hydraulic connections of the box. Theoretically this box is inclined to overheating, but if in spite of the service book to change oil in it at least once in 60,000 and not to drive much faster than 150 km per hour, everything will be all right. The overheating at high speed is characteristic with the fact that the transmission does not want to shift down for some time, which is the program protection from damage. As in previous patrols, the undercarriage is extremely reliable. Despite automatic all-wheel drive, system failures are almost uncommon. There are no problems with jamming of the rear differential lock or the transfer case downshift actuator. In general, there are no obvious system problems at all, and natural wear of units begins at 150 to 200,000 runs and is quite predictable. The original independent suspension of the Patrol Y62 caused furious indignation among fans of the brand. At one time, a similar reaction was provoked by the rejection of the springs, and before that something else probably displeased the owners of any of the previous versions, the new is not welcomed here, even if it is not so new. Nevertheless despite some problems, fully independent suspension patrol Y62 has demonstrated its viability and the right to exist. And these problems were related not so much to the suspension itself, as to the additional equipment. The patrol of this generation was the first SUV with the HBSC system. This device, consisting of suspension shock absorbers and hydro accumulators, is intended to combat roll in the turns and simultaneously improves articulation on the off-road. The system is hydraulic, so losing oil can make it perform a little worse, approximately the same as a usual shock absorber, 
At first body roll will be increased, then the roll will be complemented with delayed return to vertical position and sway will appear at shifting to the other side during active maneuvering. And finally, the body will sway from the slightest steering movement, both transversely and lengthwise. The car is heavy, tall, and even a slight loosening of the system becomes very noticeable. Rarely but a drop in pressure in the HBSC was accompanied by a knocking of who knows what on who knows what. After the repair, the tapping, as well as the roll, disappears. By the way, another knock can make you nervous, the steering shaft. It can be cured by replacement and can appear again without any visible reasons. However, the malfunction does not affect the safety of driving. After the restyling in 2014, most of these problems were fixed, and the Nissan Patrol has found a second youth. To catch up with the popularity of its predecessors, it lacks only one thing, a diesel engine. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.